Logic, this game and Logic, leak his gameplay and Logic. I don't know if Logic and whatever is happening here between me, 3 Division and you can be called Logic, but let's talk about it. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Dumbass Place. No, another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Um, right, uh, I wanted to address a couple of things. I got a lot of <laughs> a lot of hatred. Not hatred. I'm kidding. There's no hatred in the comment section. Um, uh, everything everything is extremely positive and nice. Um, right. So let's talk about uh, the comment section first. Let's dive into that. They are like you call this Astroneer because usually when I'm processing videos, I click on the name previous one and then I edit it. And uh, at the same time, uh, I was recording um, two different series and uh, for some reason I clicked on Astroneer and they kept that name and I just changed the title of the episode but uh, that was fixed now thank you Frankie for actually saw it even before publishing it but uh, even forgot to change it while I was uh, processing everything appropriate title uh, Mrs. Bro appropriate title booze funny how life works sometimes almost as if there was something uh, like subconsciousness <laughs> yeah it was like uh, even uh, today I'm waking up it's nine in the morning I think I got a decent 8 hours, close to 8 hours of sleep. I didn't stay up too late last night, but um, like I usually do. Uh, so th this is pretty okay. Um, so, yeah, subconscious, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I live in the land of whiskey, so hey-ho, you know, you have to do what you can to survive. Uh, old Gala, if we are finally uh, going to expand across the river, why not uh, build a bridge with your existing office and then build a new office across the river uh, and up um, the road of it. <clears throat> that's really good. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, this is something that I still didn't adapt in my head, but um, the people say that usually you should build the construction offices closer to uh, where the source is, or closer to where the um, closer to where the construction that you're building is. Now the only benefit of pushing construction office further is their automation. I believe that uh, construction offices need to be built somewhere in between where your resources are and what you're constructing. So uh, the only reason we were crossing the river was the nuclear industries, but we already uh, almost finished all the nuclear industries uh, on this side. So there's no reason for us to, uh, to dig into these. Um, you know, like we don't have to... Um, uh, we don't have to go for the uranium over here, so we can definitely we can we can just skip that part. I don't know what else is across the river. I was thinking actually of building a town on the on the other side because we have a couple of nice islands in the river that I was maybe hoping to utilize for one thing or the other. Maybe like uh, you know um, a port container port on the other side of the river. Yes, I know. Uh, maybe something like that, you know, for the future development. Or, or even even if we decide to go on this side, uh, unfortunately, the uh, it's raining, so it's going to be really hard to see. Raining in Canada, uh, it's going to be hard to see. Uh, there's a couple of nice islands here that we can use for uh, either harbor or something different. So we, we can, you know, uh, have some fun across the river. So I think, I think the most appropriate thing would be to build a city and then behind the city, uh, probably other resource, uh, like construction resource uh, production. This looks, this smells like um, a cement production as well. So I don't know what you think about that, guys. Uh, but uh, none of this stuff really needs to be too far away. So, uh, I, th I don't know if I explained, but uh, Oliki thinks that, uh, well, third, you talk about yourself in the third person. Since all of our resources are here, uh, over here, and all of our construction is on the other side of the river, here, I think construction offices anywhere uh, between there and here are good enough. Now, um, this is for logic, uh, for building across the river. 
for building uh, uh, anything across the river here. If I pushed it even further, it wouldn't really matter because they would go for all the resources that they need all the way there. So this is good enough. But also this is me recreating these construction offices that we had in the beginning because I just hate this automated construction office. I think they are too slow. Uh, they don't do get anything done. And uh, it's just a huge list of uh, stuff that needs to do. But this is just my logic. I'm not sure if I'm correct here. Uh, you know, hit the comment section and uh, let the, let me know if uh, if I'm maybe wrong or or what's your opinion on that. Um, I'll, I'll probably touch upon this later. Uh, let's go and uh, with Pickle Babushka. She said that, that uh, Canadian rye whiskey and maple syrup liquor also exists. Canada is great. Well, I don't know about the Canada is great part. Of course, that's um, that's not true. But <laughs> all jokes aside. Um, um, yeah, sure. Why the hell not? And and again, uh, we're gonna talk about this green stuff here. This is the Murmansk construction office that is in the suburbs of Murmansk, and this is the Port Elgin, the second town we have. And this is Automation decided to select this building to be constructed by Automation for some reason or other. I have no idea why. And we're gonna touch upon that. Actually, we're gonna touch upon that now. Um, so this is what Dennis said in the comment section. Hey, Leaky. Yes, I think I, that will be probably next time. Evolution of my nickname, Leaky. It was Uljano, then Ulki, what would be in, in Balkans in Croatian, which, which I tried to make Uliki. But it's really hard to make, write Ulki in the... Or people can't really pronounce it, so Uliki is whatever it is. And then Dennis, Leaky. Perfect. And next thing is going to be leak as a, as a vegetable. Uh, this is a pure speculation, but about your rogue CEO, CEOs tend to add the next road to their assignment list. If they finish the one like a track builder does, that's a, that's a good logic. Um, even if it's um, way off her limit. So maybe this happened to your building. The CEO uh, finished uh, all the roads in the range and caught the building. Yeah, then yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, it's not. The, first of all, it's not because uh, these are the random constructions after everything has been constructed. Like, for example, if we, got, if we get the construction office here in the... Oh, this is distribution office. Construction office um, in the uh, Port Elgin, uh, it, uh, there's nothing to construct like footpaths, something in range. It was just a random building in the middle of other buildings. Uh, it had a footpath. The footpath was not uh, assigned by automation, but the uh, but the statue was. So that's that's kind of wait. Didn't what did they just bring? Crane or something? No, ah, excavator. But they were done with uh, excavator stage. Oh, the the, the groundwork stage. Okay, the, whatever, whatever. Um, uh, I maybe it is. Maybe it's some string, the invisible string that we don't know how they assigned this. But uh, this was a statue in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the city. That the, the construction office was just assigned to. Uh, again, it could be um, the way th this is a modded map, and we know that these. Um, they, I, I'm not blaming 3 Division for this. It could be due to modding of the map that somehow there's a wormhole uh, somewhere around here that kind of extends the range of the construction office on the other side of the city um, or somewhere around there because uh, I'm not sure if they're uh, the, the constructions that we assigned them to uh, like they didn't work on the uh, the Port Elgin train station Pushkino. Uh, station of Pushkino, um, or or any of the other buildings, they were working on this statue. It's it's kind of weird. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's bug. Maybe it's not. I, I'm not judging here because I don't. Oh right, look at this. Uh, oh, they're actually crossing this. Oh, that's interesting. There's no uh, footpath crossing. And uh, here's another bug for the for you for three division. Like um, uh, if you don't build the footpath on both sides of your of street. Um, there's uh, there's no uh, like there's no pedestrian crossing there, but they still use that street to cross. So is that realistic or is it like a bug? Um, I don't know. Uh, you hit the comment section and let me know because uh, it just looks weird. I mean, like they look like they're breaking the law, and our little Soviet citizens never do that. J jaywalking or something like that. I don't know what it means. Okay, continuing new cheap. Yikes, down 150,000 rubles. I didn't even know that. This episode, maybe check your exports and see 
uh, if you can pay off two small loans. Yeah, 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 yeah. let's do that. So we have the, uh, let's go finish the, uh, could bring your monthly payment uh, to an evil overlords down. Yeah, uh, let's see the economy and trade. Let's see the loans. We have 200,000 loans. Uh, no, sorry, it's, it would be here 94,000. Yeah, we have 1.4 million here. Uh, does it say monthly payment? We have 40,000 monthly payments amount due tomorrow. We're doing fine. We can repay this. So I don't know if there's any reason to do so, but uh, again, you see, this is this is Uliki's brain. Like, I totally forgot why we did this previously, but here we go. We're going to repay two loans that we have. We are just under half a million. So, evil payment to evil overlords drop from 40,000 down to 33,000. Unfortunately, this is the lowest we can get because this loan is going to be with us for a while. 1.8 million. We're not doing that bad, but... Um, uh, it, it was a good choice to make, so thank you. Uh, Joshua, at least your construction office is doing something. Uh, a lot of uh, your uh, COs do nothing full of vehicles. Uh, if you gave the automatic construction the same amount of vehicles um, as your other ones, they uh, they get stuff done. Well, yeah, that's true, but uh, you can't... Uh, if, like, if you uh, have this one construction office, if I had like four, three or four of these construction offices and then stuff them with the same amount of vehicles, uh, they would be just having the same, uh, the same structures assigned to it and... Um, uh, they would have uh, less capacity. They would only have like 20, even though now it's more than 20, obviously, assigned uh, to this one. Um, I don't think it would be as efficient. That's my opinion about it. But uh, it, it's not it's not crazy thing to think about. So let, let me dwell over that a bit and uh, uh, let me come back to you. That, that's not a bad idea, Joshua. So uh, I'll see what we can do. And Demetri, thank you for everything. I didn't reply to any of your comments except to the uh, Frankie. I was uh, like he had a rush, rushing day yesterday. Uh, rushing here, rushing there. Rushing, rushing everywhere. So... Um, I'm recording this now, and then, you know what, I'm gonna go and rush elsewhere. Um, right, so let's focus on these construction offices first. I don't know if my logic with, uh, the, I wanted to address again old Gala and uh, putting construction offices on the other side. First of all, if I put it on the other side straight away, it would be uh, taking away the prime real estate uh, next to the river. If I push it a little bit further inland, uh, it could be a little bit too far, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of trying to force myself to build construction offices more commonly um, and permanently like uh, we can try to trade the vehicles between them but uh, we can leave them open and just leave them there as um, industrial infrastructure so yeah um, so that's the plan for uh, for this episode I'm gonna finish these construction offices here uh, I'm gonna focus on them, uh, so this is definitely gonna speed up. Uh, oh, by the way, the air, plus the expansion should be in this direction as well. I'm not sure where our iron is, but probably we should uh, consider going for that next. Um, we still didn't uh, properly utilize coal, but that's due to slowness on the of the ra Whoa, railroad is being done. Railroad is almost done. That's interesting. Oh, border crossing. A lot of meat imports. I think I'm missing uh, distribution office here, I think. Let's see. Uh, these guys are going for the border crossing. Uh, customs house, you're not importing this, not importing this. Only meat, uh, mechanical machine parts, uh, mechanical components and uh, electronics, right? Everything else is being produced by us. Uh, and this is a refrigeration truck, that's fine. Okay, looks like we are we recovered the meat issue kind of resolved. But um, uh, this is a meat farm that is going to be constructed here, so we're going to yeah do stuff with that. Okay, um, I think I'm done here. I want to do a time lapse now. Uh, I'm going to try to find where the next resource source source of resources resource source is um, potentially planning some kind of industry across the river, like a uh, cement factory or something, bridge construction. Um, I, I still think I would, I would like to finish these ones first. But um, yeah, uh, I'm going to focus on this. We're going to do a time lapse now, and I'll be back with you in five minutes. Leaky wants coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee.
Tarum, 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 tum, tum. Yeah, we have uh, another gridlock. <laughs> we have another gridlock. Uh, we have another uh, issue with the fuel, looks like it. I have no idea. I mean, like, yeah, more gas stations. But again, can you imagine introducing cars into this? <laughs> this is without cars. This little car is probably either police or secret police or something. Secret police. Um, yeah, that, that, that's def definitely gonna be fun if we try to do that. Um, on the other front, um, I decided for a bridge. Um, I did not see the height of the bridge. Uh, does it say anywhere what the height of the bridge is when you're constructing it? Let's see like this. Can you... Can Lee... without you? What? If we go this, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and cannot be above water. Yeah, because this one is um, uh, uh, a little bit inwards, inland. Uh, this one cannot. Oh wait, what? Uh, if we start from. Oh right, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Can it be parallel? Why can't you be parallel? Oh, here, oh is that parallel? <clears throat> Looks like it might be. Um, okay, so height. Length is 93 meters. It doesn't say height anywhere. I don't see the height. So there's a, there's a thing with the bridges and the height and the boats and stuff. Um, I didn't start construction on this, but um, yeah, hopefully this is going to be high enough. If not, we will adjust. Tear down the bridge and build a new one, probably. But that's fine, that's fine, initially. Uh, and also we can have the export facilities on this side of the bridge, and then we'll see. Uh, for the future development, it's fine, it's fine. The band's gonna make it. Um, Money-wise, yeah. <laughs> Cheap is not happy that he can't be. We need to see what the problem... The problem is the imports. Uh, we are importing a lot of oil, I would assume so. Let's just check here. I mean, like... Yeah, at least the refineries are working. I'm gonna go all in on this one. Uh, do we have any? No, we don't have anybody held back uh, on the worker front. We have only 253 workers uh, extra at the moment. Let's see if these guys are complaining about work. Nobody's complaining about work. Two people, but that's gonna be uh, changed shortly. Pub, tavern, not working. Working. No distance though. Let's see the distance. Oh, distance. So why are you not in a pub then? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I mean, I don't want to shorten the distances because I don't care. They're all covered. Uh, why would these guys complain? 40... No, 18 of them cannot visit pub tavern. Okay, fine. This is supposed to be a park anyway here. So we can... Um, I can shorten some distances. Uh, like, for example, this, this... Uh, and even this one. This is what I wanted to do from before. So this is definitely going to create some shortcuts for people. And then here we can have a nice park, of course, with a um, great leader statue. Not me, not me. Not this time. Landing statue. Uh, yeah, sure. Why the hell not? And lower this to zero. So we're going to manually build this. A lot of footpath construction happening around here. That's nice. That's that's nice. That's just nice. Uh, oh, we have a bypass built here. We can even... Uh, did I forbid the trucks to go in here? Well, uh, let's do that now. Signs. Uh, roads and then signs. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. My bad. I totally didn't see that. Okay, a uh, new field. We move the field here. We're building a storage uh, for alcohol. It's too much. We have too much alcohol. <laughs> uh, these guys are refueling. This is the new trucks for alcohol distribution. I think I bought a, a little bit. Oh, all right. That would be the, the, the financial problems we have. Um, let's see. Uh, vehicles imported 150,000. We are minus 100,000. So... Yeah, that seems to, to cover it. Let's see last month. Last month we are minus... <clears throat> Minus what? Uh, okay, uh, import resources. 
Steel. Okay, this looks like we are getting a little bit um, ahead of ourselves with imports and stuff. I mean, like, I understand we need to fill this uh, backfill, this steel that we consumed. Uh, we are exporting, how much do you have? Like 17,000 rubles here, 16,500 rubles here. This guy is going to be importing. This guy has like 2,000 rubles of alcohol being exported. So, yeah, it, it, it's going. I think it's I think it's gonna be fine, but hey ho, you know, like let's wait for this. Look at the three containers over here. And they're still working hard on packing everything. Let's see. Is this is this it? Uh, oh it is. Okay, I thought uh, that uh, like there's a lot of um, um, a lot of uh, resources here, but there's not enough for a full container load. So they're waiting for more resources to pack them in. That, that's cool. This is cool. I like this. I like what's happening here. Um, uh, I think this is going to be a problem. This is too small. This is the distribution office that is loading warehouse. What is this? Ah, that's food. Uh, this this, uh, this um, export, I think we're going to have to have a big, big, big distribution office. I think I'm going to start on this right now. Uh, let's go for distribution office over here. Uh, big one. Okay, let's go. Do I have any different ones that I like? I don't. I don't think I do. Let's see. Thirty-two vehicles, twenty vehicles. What's this? Oh, this is just an empty. Uh, this doesn't look as imposing. Okay. I, I just. I just realized that we don't have that many uh, distribution offices that look decent and have high capacity. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's go in the mod section. And then under D, distribution office. No, looks like we're in the same pickle here as well. Okay, well, Rob's it is. Um, what about here? Oh, we can do it like this. I know it's gonna be affecting our field over here, but that's that's the charm of it. Uh, that's just the charm. That's what we call it now. De demolishing the fields it's charm okay but it's gonna be fine the band's gonna make it the thing that i wanted to do here is assign this uh field but uh in one of the first ones can i do this no no i literally have to remove everything first okay i'm gonna leave it for now hopefully i'm gonna remember to do this later because i cannot unassign fields in the middle of the harvest it's just gonna create chaos and um uh, if i remember doing it later that's fine we have to remove one of the fields here so i can put the storage area i could have squeezed stuff in here but i think this is way better because easier access uh asphalting the roads actually you know what while we're doing this I was thinking of asphalting the road here. Yeah, you know what? Uh, well, there's no disruption at the moment. Anyway, anyway, I'll leave it alone. Leave it alone. Uh, railroad construction vehicle. Uh, this is how far we got. This uh, railroad here is just the utility railroad. This is not going to be used by trains, only for delivery of the vehicles. So, fear not, fear not, not being total <coughs> brain dead, but somewhat of a brain dead. Um, right, we're all, all uh, we are already over here, so. Um, I think I'm gonna have to start making parking spaces. I think this road here is gonna have to go. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, it's gonna have to go. Um, we're gonna have to build a cross. So, um, and this road is gonna have to go as well, but currently not, not at the moment. So, we're gonna have to build a cross. Um, but the thing is, bridge entrance. We, we can build a bridge here. Well, why did I just destroy this road then? I was thinking of building a bridge maybe here, because this is also gonna be... It doesn't really affect the, the traffic. You know what? I'll do it this way, just because I, I, I'm gonna look like a dumbass if I, if I don't do it this way. Let's do it like this. Um, I'm gonna build... Hmm, I'm gonna build a crap load of train tracks over here. How many? Five. Six. Six tracks over here. So these six tracks are going to be parking spaces for our trains. Uh, they're probably going to go a little bit further. We can go all the way here. Uh, 
And then... Yeah, this is gonna be a tricky one. Um, I kinda need to make all of these come in here. So maybe like this. Okay. Interesting. I'm just looking if this is something that uh, looks at all decent or not. Maybe it's not. No, 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 no. I'm gonna remove some of the railroads from here. Uh, I don't like this. There we go. I'm gonna go directly forward. Um, this needs to be have um, yeah. This needs to be like this. Uh, so I'm gonna just connect it to this one here, like this. Okay, looks like the railroad, uh, sorry, the tracks here don't like it. I think I'm gonna have to go uh, with a little bit more space for them. No, that's a joke there, nope. Not really a joke. Yeah, how do we make this look good? Um, is it even possible? These uh, these bends here, are, they don't look... Uh, actually, it should be this way, right? Yeah, it should. But again, the road here. Uh, okay, this is this is the important part. We need to build this. Um, we need to uh, build... The, so this is how big I envisioned it being. So it's going to be like that. And then what we need to do here is... Build a bridge. How does this look? Like crap. Wow. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, okay, let's do... Uh, you need to have a little bit of a road. And then it needs to be a little bit of a bridge. Uh, one, two, three, I think it's gonna have to be. And then it has to be crossing it. And then go down. Okay, how does this look? A bit better, a bit better. So this is gonna be, uh, yeah, let's go with that. This is gonna be our new export. This is where the trucks are gonna go. Um, uh, we're gonna remove this road. This is gonna be overpass. All the truck and exports are gonna go here. This road is gonna be gone. I'm actually gonna do it to remove parts of the road. It's gonna be like blockage. So we can see that actually once a road, road went through here once. <laughs> and the um, railroad here, it's fine. I still think I need to play with this a little bit. So this is the exit. This line here is exit. Um, so uh, entrance is going to be parallel to that on the left hand side. We need to build all of that. Um, initially, it's fine. Let them build it. Let them eat cake. Let them build it like this. Um, uh, this all needs to be constructed before we have any massive transit going through here. But what we will be doing is exporting the track builders, hopefully. I'm going to get the, yeah, uh, the fueling, right? Uh, that's something that we kind of forgot fuel for the locomotive that's going to be doing exports so um that's not going to be too difficult um let's 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 not plan too much let's just try to make our life uh horribly difficult uh liquid unloading station where's the fueling here we go uh train fueling station train diesel station Okay, and how much do you have capacity internal? Because I don't want to bring... Oh, wow. 
Yeah, what? How, how do you deliver fuel here? There's no road connection for this. Only by pipe? Oh, I don't know if I want to chance that one. Diesel. Uh, refueling for diesel locomotives. This looks a little bit more up my alley. So let's try... I was hoping to make it somewhere around here, but this is all snookered in. I don't have any roads coming in, so uh, probably it's going to have to be uh, over... Yeah, let's do it here then. Uh, like this. And build this one. And now, <coughs> railroad. Uh, too steep descent. Yeah, that's not gonna work. How are you doing for time? Uh, too long. Need to put this episode out of its misery. Uh, yeah, I'll do it on the flat ground here. So flat earth ground, flat earth ground. Uh, flat earth ground here. Uh, no road connection. Don't connect it yet. Uh, a little bit long here. And then bent in this direction. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it, water boy. There we go. Build. And then... This way. There we go. So this is going to be constructed. Hopefully this is long enough. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I think the only one, the diesel that I'm thinking about at the moment is the... the I, I'm only thinking about getting these exports uh, up and running as soon as possible. This is the only thing I'm considering at the moment uh, to get, start getting some uh, some Vladimirs, some Benjamins uh, by exporting the track builders. Yeah, um, overpass, when it's done, it's done. Uh, is this too long? It's long enough for the road construction office, that's fine. How are we doing with these guys? These guys are well done in this stage. We, we need a lot of bricks. We need a lot of, a lot of bricks, by the way. Um, uh, I don't... Whoa, that's cool. Finally. Finally, we have everything that we dreamed of. Why is this now uh, work, not working? It's working, we have uh, we have bricks everywhere. The problem is these imports of steel, I think they are, that are causing financial, slightly financial grief. Uh, it's the only, the only thing. Did I just cancel these? That's fine. I think this is fine as long as we have a, a railroad. Well, why did I cancel this one? Ah, right, when I was playing with the railroad there. That, that's perfectly fine. We know uh, I only needed space under the bridge so I can rebuild all of this. So I'm going to do that later. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it here. Finances are 300,000. We repaid some of the loans. We are going a little bit down, a little bit up. And currently we're going a little bit more down. Um... X imports Soviet bloc steel of course that's major import that we have so if we slow down construction bear in mind that we have constant consumption of steel but well, that would be railroad engines and also we are constructing a lot of railroads so railroad construction office rail construction office that those are going to be consuming a lot of steel but other other buildings uh, we can actually dictate how much steel we're going to use uh, bridge wise here doesn't require steel that's interesting seriously no steel on this i know that's a concrete bridge or whatever interesting okay that's it calling it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave an nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe, notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel we have the description of the video thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye bye